Still under mathematical induction, we are going to consider problems regarding inequality. Now let's take our very first example. So example 1. Prove that for all integers n greater than or equal to 3, the mathematical statement 2 exponent n is greater than n plus 4. We are going to prove that for all integers n greater than or equal to 3, the mathematical statement 2 exponent n is greater than n plus 4. So how do we solve this? So first of all, let's write down the mathematical statement p of n that is given by 2 exponent n greater than n plus 4. So as usual, we need to prove the base step. So that is step 1. Now in this problem, we are given a constraint that is for all integers n is greater than or equal to 3. So the smallest number here is n equals 3. So we need to prove that the statement is true for n equals 3. So we have p of 3. Now in place of n, we are going to substitute and then put in 3. We are going to substitute 3 in place of n. So on the left hand side, we have 2 exponent 3, which is greater than on the right hand side, we have 3 plus 4. Now 2 exponent 3 is 8. And that is greater than 3 plus 4 is 7. And indeed, 8 is greater than 7. So, since the left hand side is greater than the right hand side, it follows that the statement is true for n equals 3. So, we say that p of 3 is true. Now, let's move on to step 2. So for step 2, that is where we are going to assume that the statement is true for n equals k, where k is any integer greater than or equal to 3. So k is any arbitrary integer greater than or equal to 3. So we have p of k. Now on the left hand side, we are going to have 2 exponent k. And then on the right hand side, we have k plus 4. So we basically substitute k in place of n. So this is an assumption we are making. This is basically an assumption. Now to step 3. That is where we are going to prove that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. We are going to prove that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. So we have p of k plus 1. Now we are going to substitute k plus 1 in place of n. So on the left hand side, we are going to have 2 exponent k plus 1. And that is greater than on the right hand side, we have k plus 1 plus 4. Now let's simplify this. So we are going to have on the left hand side, 2 exponent k plus 1 greater than on the right hand side, we have k plus 1 plus 4 is 5. Now, this is what we are going to prove. We are going to prove that 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than k plus 5. So, this is what we are going to prove. So, we need to prove. We need to prove. This is what we need to prove. Now, when dealing with inequality, we are going to do something slightly different from what we did in the previous lesson. Now, in order to prove that 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than k plus 5, let's go back to the assumption we made, the assumption that we made in step 2. So in step 2, we made an assumption that we made an assumption that 2 exponent k is greater than k plus 4. Now what we are going to do is we are going to make sure that either the left hand side of this inequality or the right hand side of this inequality looks the same as either the left hand side of what we are supposed to prove or the right hand side. So we can choose to transform this inequality such that 
the left hand side which is 2 exponent k becomes 2 exponent k plus 1 or better still we transform this inequality such that k plus 4 becomes k plus 5. Now if you are able to do that then we can make one or two assumptions and then conclude. So that is the next step that we are going to take. So how do we do that? Now it is always simple to transform 2 exponent k to 2 exponent k plus 1. So let's try that. So the next thing we are going to do is to multiply this whole inequality, both the left hand side and the right hand side by 2. So we multiply by 2, we multiply this, the assumption by 2 so that we have 2 times 2 exponent k greater than 2 times k plus 4. So we multiply 2 across and then we have 2 times 2 exponent k. Now according to the laws of indices, any number is raised to the power 1. So 2 is equal to 2 exponent 1. Greater than, we multiply 2 across, we have 2k plus 2 times 4 is 8. Now because we are multiplying these two values and then we have the base to be the same, we can basically add their exponents. So that becomes 2 exponent k plus 1 greater than 2k plus 8. So by this, we've succeeded in making or in transforming 2 exponent k so that it becomes 2 exponent k plus 1. Now, we are supposed to prove that 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than k plus 5. However, we have 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than 2k plus 8. So what are we going to do next? Now, let's compare these two expressions. 2k plus 8 and then k plus 5. Now, for any integer value, k, which is greater than or equal to 3, any value you plug in here is going to produce a greater value than whatever you plug in here. So, for example, let's assume... Let's assume, let's assume that k is equal to 3. Now, using this expression, 2 times 3 plus 8. Now, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. And then, for this expression, which is k plus 5, you have 3 plus 5. And that is equal to 8. So, whatever integer value, k greater than or equal to 3 that you plug in into these two expressions this expression is going to produce a greater value as compared to k plus 5 you can try for 4 5 6 7 and so on and so forth now if that is the case then we say that 2k plus 8 is greater than is greater than k plus 5 okay 2k plus 8 is greater than k plus 5. Now, if 2k plus 8 is greater than k plus 5 and 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than 2k plus 8, then what this primarily means is that 2 exponent k plus 1 is also greater than k plus 5. So this is what we are saying. If 2k plus 8 is greater than k plus 5 okay and 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than 2k plus 8 then it follows that 2 exponent k plus 1 is also greater than k plus 5 hence the proof Okay, so to make things very simple, let's consider this scenario to clearly understand what we mean or what we are doing here. Let's assume that you have three numbers. Okay, you have three numbers. Let's say you have 10, you have 5, and then you have 2. So if 5 is greater than 2, okay, so that is if 2k plus 8 is greater than k plus 5, and... 
and you have 10 greater than 5 then automatically you can say that 10 is greater than 2 because 5 is greater than 2 so if 10 is greater than 5 then automatically 10 will be greater than 2 so that is what we've explained here if 2k plus 8 is greater than k plus 5 and 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than 2k plus 8 then automatically 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than k plus 5 hence the proof so in conclusion in conclusion we say that the original statement okay the original statement the original statement which was giving us p of n 2 exponent n greater than n plus 4 is true for all integers is true for all integers n greater than or equal to 3 now let's try another example so for example 2 we are going to prove by induction that the statement for n less than 2 exponent n is true for some positive integers so as usual we have the statement p of n that is 4n less than 2 exponent n now in this problem no constraints is given so we need to find it so how do we find it we are talking about positive integers and then we know that the smallest positive integer is 1 so we start to test from 1 so let's say for n equals 1 let's say if n is equal to 1 then using this statement we have 4 times 1 which is 4 less than 2 exponent 1 is 2 now 4 is not less than 2 so n can't be 1 so let's move on to 2 so we have let's say 4 times 2 is 8 8 less than 2 exponent 2 is 4 8 is not less than 4 so we can move on to 3 so let's quickly jump to maybe 4 so 4 times 4 on the left hand side is 16 less than 2 exponent 4 is 16 16 is not less than 16 so this can be possible and it's not equal to 4 let's move on to 5 so for 5 we have 4 times um, 4 times 5 which is 20 so 20 less than 2 exponent 5 is 32 so here you realize that the left hand side is less than the right hand side so it means that n equals 5 is valid for this statement so for step 1 that is for the base step we have n equals 5 therefore we have p of 5 we are going to plug in 5 in place of n so on the left hand side we have 4 times 5 less than 2 exponent 5 and then 4 times 5 is 20 so 20 less than 2 exponent 5 is 32 so since the left hand side is less than the right hand side it follows that the statement is true for n equals 5 so p of 5 is true now let's move on to step 2 for step 2 we are going to make the assumption for n equals k where k is any positive integer greater than or equal to 5 k is any positive integer greater than or equal to 5 so for p of k we are going to substitute k in place of n so we are going to have on the left hand side we have 4k less than 2 exponent k so this is an assumption straight away let's move on to step 3 so that's where we are going to prove that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1 which is the next term so for p of k plus 1 we have 4 in place of n we have k plus 1 less than 2 exponent k plus 1 now let's expand and simplify 
so here we have 4k plus 4 less than 2 exponent k plus 1 so actually this is what we are going to prove so we need we need to prove this we need to prove that 4k plus 4 is less than 2 exponent k plus 1 so to do so we come back to the assumption that we made in step 2 we come back to the assumption we made in step 2 we said that 4k is less than 2 exponent k now let's focus on 2 exponent k let's try to make 2 exponent k or better still let's try to transform 2 exponent k to 2 exponent k plus 1 so we basically multiply by 2 so we have 2 times 4k less than 2 times 2 exponent k so on the left hand side we have 8k less than 2 times 2 so so we have 2 exponent 1 actually 2 exponent 1 times 2 exponent k so this becomes 8k less than 2 exponent k plus 1 so on the right hand side we have 2 exponent k plus 1 now let's compare these two values 8k and then 4k plus 4 so you realize that for any integer value or for any positive integer value k greater than or equal to 5 if you plug in same value for k into this expression and that expression you realize that 8k is going to produce a greater value as compared to 4k plus 4 okay so you can test with values of k starting from 5 6 7 8 and so on and so forth so if 8k is greater than 4k plus 4 okay and 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater than 8k so we are just writing the reverse okay so if 8k is greater than 4k plus 4 and 2 exponent k plus 1 is greater okay is greater than 8k then 2 exponent k plus 1 is also greater than 4k plus 4 so we can basically write the reverse that is 4k plus 4 is less than look at the position less than 2 exponent k plus 1 hence the proof therefore the original statement given by p of n which is 4n less than 2 exponent n is true for some positive is true for some positive integers n greater than or equal to 5.